Well, now to another celebration which took place last night where the Chinese government agreed to assist with the construction of a children's hospital in this country. China's ambassador to Trinidad and Tobago announced this and other areas of cooperation with TNT on the observance of the Chinese New Year. Prime Minister Kamla Pisan Bessessa held a dinner at the diplomatic center last evening to celebrate the Year of the Dragon. Karen Kozia Philip has more. 2012 is the Year of the Dragon a zodiac sign in the Chinese calendar that represents good luck and strength. In joining with Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister in celebrating the occasion, China's Ambassador Yang Yuming says his country will continue to cooperate with TNT in the areas of communication, agriculture, tourism, oil and gas, sports and health. The Chinese side looks to further strengthening of economic and trade cooperation of the two sides the Chinese government has agreed, in principle, to provide preferential, preferential loan or government loan for the construction of a children's hospital in Trinidad. Ambassador Yu Ming says in 2011, bilateral trade between the two nations maintained a steady growth and is expected to exceed the 400 million US dollars or 2.5 billion TT dollars of the previous year. In the area of culture, the Chinese ambassador says China will send cultural groups to celebrate TNT's 50th year of independence. He says his government is also considering the establishment of a Chinese teaching and learning center in Trinidad. You will agree the increasing interest in the Chinese culture here in Trinidad and Tobago and given the political and economic status of this country in the Caribbean, I see it as both necessary and feasible to set up a Confucius Institute in Trinidad and Tobago in the near future. Ambassador Yu Ming notes the increase in the number of Chinese companies operating in Trinidad and Tobago, and he believes a TNT embassy in China could easier facilitate trade between the two nations. We also welcome the government of Trinidad and Tobago to open an embassy in Beijing. This will certainly make it easier for Chinese nationals to get visas and facilitate more exchanges between the two sides. The Chinese side will be pleased to provide any necessary assistance. The Chinese ambassador also extended an invitation for Prime Minister Kamla Posad Bisesa to lead an official delegation to visit China. Karen Kozia Philip, C News. And it's an offer the Prime Minister might just accept. This as she again defended her government's foreign travel, saying it's the best way to market Trinidad and Tobago. Speaking at last evening's dinner in observance of the Chinese New Year, Prime Minister Pesad Bessessa noted that her government has already carried trade missions to two of the world's five emerging economies, Brazil and India. She says China could be next. To Your Excellency, may I thank you very much for the offer of a state visit to China. And may I say we will give very favorable consideration to that invitation because now the world is not just an island, it ever was one place that we can never take this nation forward if we continue to sit at home and wait for people to come to look for us. We need to go out there to market Trinidad and Tobago, to brand Trinidad and Tobago, and to bring all the business that we can get back to Trinidad and Tobago. Prime Minister Pesad Bessessa was responding to an invitation from the Chinese ambassador. Last year, the government of TNT was granted a loan of 40 million yen from the Chinese government. The Prime Minister said these funds will go towards enhancing communities and engaging young people. And so my plan is this, to try to place in every single school and in every single community center in Trinidad and Tobago where those can be accommodated, Chinese table tennis, and Chinese badminton equipment. And I know we have to use the funding for Chinese products, so we're doing two things, community building, 